Uh, Neelam Ramchandani again. She is asking: Do teenagers undergo depression? What are the immediate symptoms for patients, for parents? Sorry, what are the immediate symptoms for parents to notice that their teenager, in order, their teenager is going through depression in order to seek corrective help? A young grandchild went through a difficult breakup, <laughs> relationship breakup. Obviously, the child is going to be depressed at least for some time. Why is she getting depressed? Because she did not get what she wanted. Why is she blaming herself? Because she can't blame the him. The question is that everybody, if the principles are same, the question is if you want to make a diagnosis of depression, I said very simple. See, patient doesn't come and say that I'm depressed. Patient comes in and says, I'm feeling not well, I'm feeling tired, I don't want to do anything, I don't eat properly, I don't sleep properly. Variety of symptomatology, it will come. Like example, in homeopathy, they are called rubrics. In allopathy, they are called the patient gives symptoms. So, the patient will come and say these things and that should be like example, if you are a grandmother or a mother, who is overprotective and the child tells you to get out of my room and stay out, then what will you do? Because the child is wanting to me time. Nowadays it is still there. People talk about it. They, they don't want to do with the parents. Everybody goes through these phases. The phase one, my parents, they are the best. Then they grow up, they learn their own experiences and they say, Buddha go kuch samashtane. The parents don't understand. This is what the children think. And then when they become parents and then when they retire, they'll say, no, what my father used to say was right. So this everybody goes through. And as far as mother and grandmother are concerned, I would request you don't be overprotective. Being vigilant and aware that something is happening, don't force that child or don't make compulsions which she does not want. Or allow that grief period. You offer help. If you really want to talk about something, I'm there. You can talk to me. Now that doesn't happen over me. It is overall process in terms of relationship, wherein the child develops that kind of relationship with the parent. How often you have seen that mother is the one who stays home and is doing, therefore the child talks to mother, mother talks to father. What about relationship between father and the child? So it's a unit. It's father, mother, child, parents, parents ke parents depending on the kind of family which they have. So one has to have a broader perspective. There are no ready-made answers. You have to talk to the fish. Find out. Develop that rapport, communication. If you can't identify what the emotional conflict is, how are you going to help them to solve it? 